Good afternoon, my friends. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. So friends, it has been confirmed that a benefit increase will be passed by Democratic lawmakers in the Senate. This new legislation will provide millions of Social Security recipients and senior citizens extra relief assistance. So friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video if you are SSI, SSDI, RRB, or VA beneficiary. Also know that I'll be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sundays. To enter the giveaways, you simply have to click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. Also know that the more often you comment below a keyword, the greater your chance of winning the $75 gift card. Give me a yes or no. Is the president committed, as Gina McCarthy states, to no additional drilling on public lands? I believe the Department of Interior just released a plan which would allow for additional drilling on public lands. Uh, does the president agree with his climate advisor? That's what I'm asking. Does he confirm what the climate advisor has said, or does he contradict what the climate advisor the has said? The president has called for increased supply, and he has uh, authorized and supported the Department of Interior for additional leasing for additional supply on federal lands, and he's called for the oil and gas industry to increase supply well, perhaps a climate on private and public lands. But perhaps a climate advisor then shouldn't go and contradict the president after a statement that he makes. One week after President Biden was inaugurated, the retail price of, ga of a gallon of gasoline averaged $2.48. The week before Russia invaded... According to the latest CNBC News survey, small business owners now disapprove of President Biden's job as U.S. president. In fact, right now, small business owners are twice as likely to disapprove than to approve of President Biden. Biden's approval among this group has not budged for the past three quarters, but few small business owners have been especially focused on politics during that time. Instead, for the third quarter straight, inflation dominates concerns. In this latest survey, about four in 10 small business owners report inflation to be the biggest risk to their businesses right now. Three in four small business owners say they are currently experiencing a rising cost in supplies a number that has held steady since the fourth quarter of 2021. Among those experiencing increasing costs, 40% say they are having to increase their prices just to keep up. And another 35% are planning to raise their prices if their costs continue to escalate. With inflation rising in every sector, small businesses may be the most reluctant to raise their own prices. This is because they lack some of the price setting power that helps large corporations keep their dominance. Small business owners definitely can't fight off inflation on their own. It in the realm of the Federal Reserve and the Biden administration to determine policy changes that will curtail the widespread price increases. Federal Chairman Jerome Powell announced that the Fed would increase interest rates by half a percentage point once again. This is the first such step taken since a recent inflation run began last year. Presidents get credit for a strong economy in good times and get blamed for a struggling economy during bad times. With inflation in the top of minds across the country, President Biden's job approval will not recover unless he takes it on. So my friends, how do you think that President Biden is doing handling inflation? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. U.S. employers added 428,000 jobs in April as the unemployment rate held steady at 3.6%. Stiff competition for workers is pushing up wages. This is another great concern for many economists and lawmakers. Employers are adding a lot of jobs and wages are going up at a rapid pace. But those wage gains are not keeping pace with the high cost of living. And there is a great danger that rising wages will make inflation even worse. Social Security tracks increased by 5.9% this year, relative to last, one of the largest boosts that retirees had ever seen in some time. And with inflation still sky high, they may get an even bigger increase next year. The 2023 cost of living adjustment, or known as COLA, could be as high as 8.9%. It is possible it could climb even higher than that, depending on what happens with inflation in the next few months. But there are many lawmakers that are demanding for changes to be made 
for social security right now. Friends, the keyword for this video is Key West. If you would like to enter today's $75 Walmart gift card giveaway, please click in like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Key West and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do verify that you are subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, my friends. A federal benefits program for blind, disabled, and elderly individuals could receive a long overdue update if a proposal in Washington is approved. Two Ohio senators, Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown and Republican Senator Rob Portman, have teamed up to introduce a bill it's to update the Supplemental Security Income Program's rules for how much money that beneficiaries can have set aside. SSI was created by Congress in 1972. The two senators' bills, called the SSI Savings Penalty Elimination Act, was introduced earlier this week. SSI provides a maximum monthly benefit of $841 per individual, or $1,261 for couples where both individuals are eligible for the program. However, some beneficiaries receive much less. The average monthly benefit for all recipients is currently $625.50. Many people receiving these benefits are living under or close to the federal poverty level, which in 2022 is $13,590 in annual income for individuals. SSI also comes with strict rules regarding income and assets for beneficiaries. Senator Brown and Senator Portman's bill seeks to update the asset limits, which would enable beneficiaries to have more savings in case of an emergency without affecting their benefits. The bill would also adjust thresholds annually for inflation based on consumer price index data, much like Social Security benefits. The proposal follows a more expansive proposal put forth by Senator Brown last year, which was titled the SSI Restoration Act. That bill included changes that would have lifted the program's income restrictions and brought monthly benefits to 100% of the federal poverty level and indexed them to inflation. That is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very, very much for joining me here today. I greatly appreciate all of you who are watching my videos daily. To say thank you, I'm giving away $75 Walmart gift cards every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sundays. Friends, in a video later today, I will be announcing the three winners of this week's Walmart gift card giveaway. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a wonderful and blessed Mother's Day.